the Seattle Seahawks offensive line absolutely dominated against the Detroit Lions. Not only did they run for 235 yards, but Geno Smith did not take any sacks on their way to scoring 48 points against the Detroit Lions. Today, we're going to break down the tape of the offensive line. Let's jump right into it. In my opinion, the most underrated part about an offensive line is their ability to create a pocket for the quarterback. It's that pocket right there that is going to allow a quarterback like Geno Smith to throw a 17-yard touchdown pass. And honestly, the reason why you're able to do that is because the offense line keeps the quarterback clean. It's such an underrated part of the game of football. In today's game, we see guys like Patrick Mahomes and Josh Allen, and we say those guys are able to get out of the pocket when needed, so they may not need an offensive line. But the truth is, 90% of quarterbacks need this type of offensive line to be able to make these type of throws. That's a great job. Now, I do want to switch focus and really get into some of the run game, because in my opinion, Cross, Lucas, Jackson, Lewis, Blythe all dominated run blocking, and I really want to break it down. So let's just jump right into it. Now, I want to actually start with this first play right here this is going to be a win back run by Kenneth Walker this play ends up going for 13 yards I want to talk about this play because I think from a schematic perspective this is such a nice play it's such a nice design by the coaching staff now first and foremost you guys can watch it out from watch it from the backside angle this one's interesting because you're really making this play look to be going to the left of your guys' screen and let me show you guys exactly what I mean by that as this play begins, you're going to see all of the offensive linemen go to your left. And they're blocking this as you would a zone to the left, of course, of your screen. And the point of that, you're going to get all these linebackers to start going to the left. But most importantly is going to be this defensive end who's going to backside pursuit this play. At the same time, because of the fact that that defensive end is going to backside pursuit it, you're going to hit it right back to the outside of him. And honestly, this play hits for 13 yards because of the design, the concept, right? If you guys even watch the running back, watch as he's going to initially take a step to his left right there. And the quarterback is going to make it seem like this is about to go to the left. And ultimately, he's going to hand it back and the running back is going to take this to the right. This is a really nice design. It's a really nice scheme, in my opinion. Let's go ahead and jump into the next rep. All right, you guys, jumping into the next play, you have a crack toss left tackle pulls a uh, 63 pulls as well we'll kind of break this play down this play ends up hitting for about nine yards i really want to break it down because i love the blocking angles i love the fact that guys are able to just down block and be able to hit their blocks so what exactly do i mean guys are able to down block when you watch dk metcalf here he's going to be able to easily down block on this defensive end which ultimately allows charles cross to come out here in space and it's such an easy block for the wide receiver because he's already in position. He already has the blocking angle on this defensive end. That's such an easy block for Metcalf. And of course, Metcalf's a really good run blocker. He's strong, so he's able to really set that edge. But it really allows that left tackle to get out in space. Without that seal block right there, you wouldn't be able to get out there. Now, I do want to point out, Cross is a little slow out of his stance. You guys can see the left guard here. Lewis fires out of his stance. He's already getting out. He's getting vertical. He's looking to take this angle here and cut off number 44. And of course, as you guys see, Cross is still not out of his stance. Uh, he is just a tad late, but it's not a big deal because Cross does have the pull and it is a toss. So it's not a major deal. Uh, you guys can see the uh, left guard, Lewis. Damian Lewis does a great job sealing off number 44. Uh, truth be told, this is a very difficult block. When you have a defensive tackle in the two-eye technique, for you to be able to get outside of him is not easy. Uh, Lewis does a pretty solid job. And there you guys have it, man. That's a really nice block by the entire left side. Left tackle, left guard. Even the center does a nice job. Uh, the center has to seal off this defensive tackle. You guys are going to see the center takes kind of a wide angle to be able to get out there. Uh, and ultimately, DK Metcalf ends up just kind of blocking both of those guys. So uh, the center just keeps on going, which is the correct thing. Either way, this is a really nice block. Let's go ahead and jump forward into the next rep. Jumping forward into this next rep, you got a 26-yard run by Rashad Penny. And this is an absolute beautifully blocked play. Now, Penny does a great job as well, making some cuts, making some guys miss. But I want you guys to watch Lucas. He's going to do a great job double teaming down and then getting up to the next level and sealing his guy off. As the play begins, you're going to see the double team on 54. And then look at this angle he's going to take to get up to number 34. He's going to take a couple steps to the left of your screen here. Look as he's moving backwards slightly to get his body in position to take on number 34. That's a great job because ultimately he seals it off. You know what's interesting is sometimes you would get a guy 
to block down and they would just continue through it and come down this way. Lucas is going to actually reset himself and kind of take a couple steps back to be able to come back to number 34. And that is kind of unique, right? Lucas definitely does a great job to get to 34, seal him off. And of course, Penny cuts it right off of him. But even more so than that, when you watch the guard Lewis pull, he's going to pull and kick out Aiden Hutchinson, number 97, the defensive end. And of course, that kick out block allows the running back to cut it right underneath him. So that's a great job by Lewis to be able to get out there in space. The tight end does a good job sealing. Lockett does a great job right there as well. Overall, this is a really nice block by the offense line. Great cut and vision by the running back. Let's go ahead and get to the next rep. Check this next play out. This one pops for 15 yards. You have an outside zone called to the left here of the screen. And you see that Penny gets out there. But more so than Penny getting out there and doing a great job, the tight ends, man. All three of these guys right here are going to do a great job sealing off whoever it is that they need to seal off. As you're going to see, the play is going to start. All of those guys are going to take the steps to the left. Uh, the first tight end here closest to the tackle is going to seal off first, which is going to be number 49 there. The second tight end, who's just slightly out of your uh, view here, is going to seal off the pursuing front side linebacker. And then I believe that's Noah Fant is going to take the outside corner and seal him to the outside. This is such a great job by all of these guys. You know, at the very minimum, this play picks up eight yards because that is the first line of defense, right? That's the first guy that actually makes contact with Penny. Of course, yards after contact is a big part of good running backs. And you see Penny picks up about an additional eight yards on this play. But more so than that, Lucas is a great job. He's going to get out here and he's going to hook Aiden Hutchinson. You know, outside zone plays don't work without good tackles being able to seal off guys, get to the outside of guys. That's such a great job by Lucas right here to allow his running back to get to the outside. Without him taking that wide step, look at this. Look at that right foot of his taking that wide step. And Hutchinson does come to the inside a little bit. But Lucas still does a great job getting out there and making sure Hutchinson goes to the inside. Because Hutchinson goes to the inside, Lucas has won this block. It's all about angles, and that's a really nice job by Lucas. Uh, Gabe has a three-tech defensive tackle. He's going to go ahead and seal him off. Pretty simple, right? The guy's going to the inside. A pretty solid job by the entire right side, right, from tackle to tight ends. This is a really nice job. Uh, the Seattle Seahawks, man, the, the, the guys really do a great job in the run. They really know their blocking angles, and it's really on point. Now, this play hits for seven yards here. But it's a really nice seven yards. This is an inside zone to the left. And the offensive line do a great job. Specifically right guard Gabe Jackson and center Austin Blythe. Both guys are going to double team the one tech defensive tackle here. And that double team is going to allow Gabe Jackson to flip his hips to the inside. And ultimately the running back is going to bend it right into that gap. As you guys keep your eyes on Gabe Jackson, look at him turning and flipping his hips. That's a great job right there. And the running back of course hits it. For seven easy yards. Even 68 and 67 do a great job sealing to the outside there. And of course those seal blocks allow the running back to bend it back inside. This is a really nice job. And of course I think the best block outside of Gabe was the center. The center does a great job double teaming down. Getting up to the linebacker and sealing him outwards. Uh, that's a nice job right there man. That's a really 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 nice job. And these are the types of runs that you pick up these five, six, seven, eight yards. Now I want to give some credit where credit is due. And that is Damian Lewis, the starting left guard. Uh, you guys know the story with Lewis, man. It's crazy to me because two big plays to Penny, the, the biggest plays, came because Lewis pulled and he effectively made his block. Everybody down blocks. Super simple blocks by everybody. And it's Lewis who gets out and is able to flip and seal off the defender that are, that's not able to get to Penny. And on this play, Penny pops for 41 yards. But then on this other play, it's 36 yards. And once again, it's Lewis pulling and really opening that lane up. Of course, Penny makes a guy miss. Uh, but when you guys watch this play especially, this play right here is a very nice play. A very simple concept. You have Lucas with the out block. You're going to have Jackson with the down block. You're going to have Blythe with the down block. On the opposite tackle with Cross, he's going to get into the inside of this defensive lineman. And basically, you're going to let everyone else on this side almost go unblocked. Of course, the tight end will end up picking up one of the guys. Uh, but then it's the left guard that's going to come around. 
and make contact here with the defensive lineman and he's going to seal it off and of course penny's going to kick it right in between there this block is such a great execution by the offensive lineman uh, that block right there is so nice i absolutely love it you know as a former offensive lineman as someone who studied offensive line tape for a number of years and only recently started actually breaking it down on youtube this seattle seahawks offensive line is absolutely dominant run game from a schematic approach is absolutely fantastic and it really pumps me up this scheme right here is going to have so much success as the season goes on i hope you guys enjoyed this video if this is the first time you're on this channel please consider subscribing thumbs up and i'll see you guys next time with another video